Welcome to the Biosensors and Bioelectronics Lab at the University of California, San Diego, led by Dr. Drew Hall. This is a multidisciplinary research group performing innovative research at the intersection of engineering and medicine, specifically focusing on low power and high precision instrumentation. The group has two labs, one dedicated to electronic characterization and a biosafety level two wet lab. An analog to digital converter, also known as an ADC, is a key block in sensor front ends. Recently, the trend is towards direct digitization in wearable applications, requiring extremely high dynamic range and linearity ADCs to digitize biopotential signals in the presence of large background signals, such as interference or artifacts. This work uses a voltage-controlled oscillator to time encode the input signals, enabling supply agnostic signal processing and significant power reduction. This work achieves state-of-the-art performance. Measuring such high performance designs requires very good test equipment, such as the high linearity signal sources shown here, and precision source meters to measure picoampere level currents and below. Electrical impedance spectroscopy, abbreviated EIS, is a very sensitive electrochemical measurement technique that we use for DNA binding assays. This test setup shows the electrical validation of a chip designed to measure several hundred sensors simultaneously. The microscope image shows the sensor array and the 100 micron pixels. In addition to sensors, we also design radios specifically for medical applications, such as short range transmitters for wearable applications. A probe station is shown connected to a network analyzer that measures the output network impedance. Next up, we are showing our work on an injectable sensor, a sensor placed just underneath the surface of the skin for continuous biomarker monitoring. This sensor is small enough to fit inside a syringe and requires no external components, wireless power delivery, and data telemetry testing. The end goal will be to miniaturize this into a wearable device worn above the injected sensor. Over here, we are showing the Biomote sensor placed inside a vial solution to study its lifetime. This microscope image shows the gold-plated electrodes fabricated on top of the CMOS chip. Here are a few other quick examples of the types of projects that we do in the BioEE lab. This is a high dynamic range current mode front end for transient induced molecular spectroscopy with on-chip sensors and microfluidics. This is an ultra low power temperature sensor for the internet of things that we characterize inside a temperature controlled chamber. This is an audio band continuous time Delta Sigma ADC using OTA stacking to improve the noise efficiency beyond conventional architectures. The BioLab is where novel assays are developed around magnetic and electrochemical sensors, including chips designed by students from the electronic lab. The lab is BSL2 and contains equipment such as a fume hood, glove box, ovens, and an automated robotic spotter. A core piece of equipment is an automated robotic spotter that dispenses small liquid volumes as small as 30 PL with 5 UM resolution this is used to deposit reagents over the sensors of many of our CMOS chips that are too small to be spotted by hand. We also have a high resolution 3D printer frequently used to print fixtures, support structures, flow cells, and other cool items. This is a prototype for point of care COVID-19 saliva based test. The saliva is added to the cartridge, which handles all mixing filtration and temperature control steps. The base station has the readout electronics along with Bluetooth connectivity. This is an improvement over the original assay, which used an off-the-shelf glucometer. This is a CMOS chip that synthesizes DNA in an arrayed manner using highly localized pH control. This project shows an extremely sensitive magnetic sensor array capable of detecting minute changes in the local magnetic fields. This assay resembles a classic sandwich immunosay, but instead of an optical reporter, the label is replaced by a magnetic nanoparticle. We are currently using these sensors for premature birth and monitoring enzyme activity. 